We finished this story. Three people in the United States will suffer a stroke. And if it doesn't kill you, it may cause severe disability. As Wink News Health and Medical reporter Amy Osher explains, research shows the damage doesn't have to be permanent. I was having <laughs> headaches all, like the whole week before. 25 year old Quincy Taylor chalked his headaches up to stress until it was uh, the worst pain that I've experienced so far in my life. Quincy was having a stroke. The blood flow to a specific area of the brain will diminish all of a sudden due to a blockade of a key artery. The clot-busting drug TPA was a game changer 30 years ago for treating ischemic strokes. It had to be administered within four hours of a stroke. The EXTEND trial found TPA may be helpful up to 10 hours afterwards. And LSU neuroscientist Nicholas Bazan is working on ways to save brains up to eight and nine days after a stroke. Perhaps there are experimental treatments that we can try to protect that area and then be able to restore function of that area. By pinpointing which cells in the brain are involved in a post-stroke response, Bazan believes neuroprotective molecules his team discovered could save brain cells. As for Quincy, quick treatment has him moving forward taking recovery one step at a time. Amy Osher, Wink News. And the doctor believes that finding new ways to save brain cells will help patients recover faster with less long-term disability.